And here we are by popular demand. Hey everyone, welcome. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. If you're not, I'm happy to have you back. So this video is about the highly requested curling hair tutorial. So I did just wash my hair. This is what my natural hair looks like. On camera, it really does look like I have a lot of hair, but I think <laughs> I don't. My hair is really thin and like, it's that much hair. That's all of it. But everyone seems to think that I have this long voluminous hair, which I really don't. So today I'm going to split it down the middle and show you how I curl it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, like we always say, comment, like, and subscribe. Ding! And let's get to it. So I tend to let my hair air dry just because I don't like all the heat in my hair. I am very hair lazy. I've been using the same shampoo for over 19 years and it is the head and shoulders two in one. And then every so often I'll switch cause they'll come out with like an aloe one, a lavender one, a different smell and I'll switch it up. So I am doing this now while I am, by the time this video goes up, I am out of town and when I come back, all of this is gonna be chopped off. Like I'm thinking a good six, seven inches. We got to go. Now the fun part about that is I cut my own hair. I've been cutting my own hair for a very long time. I am not a licensed beautician. I am not a licensed hairdresser, none of that. I just know how I want my hair. My head in the back is very round and I know if I flip it forward, cut it straight. When I flip it back, it's in the layers that I want it to be. You know, you go like, you split it down the middle, you go like that, just like the hairdressers do to make sure they're the same length and you move on. That's what I do. So I curl my hair with the InStyler. I've been using this mm, 12 or 13 years. So when I bought it, I loved it so much that I bought a backup. The first one lasted 11 years and I literally opened this um, a few months ago during quarantine, whenever that was. <laughs> it's like it went by fast, but you feel like time is lagging. It's just so weird. So this is the InStyler. It has like the two brushes on the each side. This dark silver plate does get hot, not the back. And then this gets hot too, the barrel. So I'm not sure. Once it closes, the barrel spins. So this can either straighten your hair, you can go down like that, or you can twist, or you can twist. And it'll it'll curl towards the bottom, how I usually have my hair curled. If you put your hair around the barrel a couple times and then go, then you'll have a curl that comes higher up. So I will show you how I do it. I used to do it all in the same direction. And then Kelly Rettenberger from Keep Beauty Real told me I could get more volume if I did some in one direction and some in the other. So I started doing that and then I found that I would get a lot of volume in my hair. And then Jennifer from Alfeisty mentioned the Living Proof uh, Full Dry Volume Blast whoa i'll put this to the test today in front of you guys so you can see so i will it is noisy a little bit so i'm going to show you a few strands and then i will i just curl this way and then i just pull the hair and it does brush it as it goes through this does work on multiple you see that on multiple hair types. 
so my children are mixed and i have used it on their hair a friend of mine she's african-american and i have blow dried her hair and then flattened with this and it's been fine so i will show you a few like i said and then fast forward through the process so the first hair i went like this and turned this time i will start with the barrel up and turn this way and i'll just i'll do i typically do like one or two in a certain direction and then keep going and then i just flip it back so let me fast forward you through the rest and then i will come back show you what it's looking like before we fluff it and before we add the volume blast And I just wanted to come back and say like you can use this if you have thin hair you can really do this in larger chunks so I just wanted to say that real quick okay so there's one half so i just wanted to add from the time of the intro because that was fast forwarded to this moment that i have done half of my hair it is nine minutes exactly and that included my intro not just the hair doing the hair so i do not touch this while i'm doing this side i just move on to this side and my hair when my hair air dries it naturally splits where I have a cowlick and I just where it ever naturally splits is where I leave it. I don't mess with it. I don't try to change the split. I just let it do what it do. Like I said, I am hair lazy and Kelly from Keep Beauty Real said it best when she said, Aileen, you're not hair lazy. You just like instant gratification when it comes to your hair. You are absolutely right. I just feel like it's one of those things that I don't want to waste a lot of time on. So let's go ahead and do the other side.
Okay, and there we are. So I'm gonna turn her off. This does have a low, medium, and high heat. If I can find the temperatures online of what the low, medium, and high mean, then I will put that in the description box, like as far as what temperature, what temperature does low, medium, and high take you to. So that took from the time I started recording an intro to this moment, 13 minutes and two seconds. Like if I could get my hair to do what it usually does in 13 minutes, I am all the way here for it. I will say when I used to curl it on the same direction, I used to bun it in the same direction as the curl, put it in a bun and I could go in the winter months because I tend to wash my hair every day because it gets oily but I could go two days if it's cold out without curling and my hair after I took it out a bun looked like I just curled it. Now that I'm working from home and all the jazz I really don't do all that because I don't have to worry about what my hair is going to look like when I wake up in the morning but here it is. So this side already cooled so then I just rip the curls apart in the sections that we did it. And look at that. Wow, you see? Let me try to scoop back so you can see it. So I'm thinking when I chop off my hair, I might record it. And if I feel I did a decent job, I'll post it. But I don't know if I could find a way to prop my phone in the bathroom to do that so here you are that's it that took less than 13 minutes because those 13 minutes included my intro like really where are we going she cute i love this in styler i think it looks a little different now like i said i bought this one and like the original one and this one a long time ago. I think they're white now. And I have very few hairs. That's like three hairs. Um, but it doesn't tug. It doesn't pull. But I do like grab the hair and then pull. Because I don't want to be pulling out my hair. So next, this volume blast. Like you guys. Okay. I'm going to just... Spray this in and then I grab the curls and I tossle it. So that volume that you saw before I added this usually lasts a few hours. This right here will last the whole day. So I tend to, because my hair is thin, I start at the roots. And then I just spray it on in there into the curls. And then I just fluff it up. Like, and this does not look like I have little thin hair. And this is why, also why I layer my hair. So when I curl it, all the curls are not down here because they're one length they are layered so it gives more volume so if you think about it if i cut it yes the volume is going to be all around my face it's going to shape my face i think if you follow me on instagram and you scroll down to the bottom you'll see in the beginning of the pandemic where i was like what do you do when you're bored during a pandemic and i chopped off my hair to about here just below shoulder length and here we are like all this hair later my hair grows like a wildfire so i hope that was helpful if i find the instyler i will link it down below if i find the temperatures what the low medium and heat temperature is i will put that down in the description box as well as well as everything i have on my face but i hope that was helpful for you again i have very thin hair i have very little of it but I like to look like it has volume. 
this was this was a deal maker for me like this this is so good the fact that my hair looks all day like i just did it just like this so i hope that was helpful until next time don't forget we are all perfectly imperfect love you guys bye